All praise to the Most High. We back. Um, we had Ezekiel 11 chapter 16 verse. Therefore say, thus said the Most High Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they have come. That's why you see we have little sanctuaries, little uh, churches here, little churches here. We don't have like the mega churches like these mega churches have. We have a little sanctuary in this city, that city, that city, Israelites, you know, we might have like storefront churches or it might not be, you know, as large as these mega churches. But when we come together, we have to rent a building for to hold everyone that comes together. But as far as the Most High is telling us, I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they have come. As we scatter them. It says, therefore say, thus say the Most High Power, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. He's going to give us the land of Israel. But the Most High is going to do this. Not no man. The Most High is going to do this. He said, I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof, and all the abominations thereof from thence. Get rid of everything that offends the Most High, all the idolatry, everything you think of that the Most High would say we're not supposed to be dealing with that's contrary to His law. And I will give them one heart. You can give us one mind. The heart is the mind, the way you think. And I will put a new spirit within you. I'll put a new spirit within us. And I will take the stony heart out of their flesh. That's why I say we're dealing with a whole lot of pride. You will take that stony heart out of our flesh that we could be humble. And we'll give them a heart of flesh. From stone to a fleshly heart. Mine. That they may walk in my statutes. Hear that? That we may walk in the statutes and keep mine ordinances and do them. And they shall be my people. And I will be their power. So the most I ain't your people. I mean, the most I ain't your power. And you're not his people. If you're not doing what he say do. To the best of your ability. This for those that are keeping the commandments of the most High. He's going to do this. But. There's a condition. As for them. Whose heart, whose mind walketh after the heart or the mind of their detestable things. You want to continue to be wicked in this land and follow the way of the heathen and the things that they offer you that's abominable in the most high. You don't want to be an Israelite. Some of you lukewarm. You're over here this way. You're over there that way. You're looking over here, over there. You come up with your own understanding. Confused. Most high is not the author of confusion. Most I said, let everything be done decent and in order. You got your own way of how you want to deal in this truth? He come back, catch you, looking like a heathen? Don't know if you're an Israelite or not? What do you think you're going to do? He said, you're going you're gonna to be consumed. Just real simple. But people in this truth, been in this truth year in and year out, and don't want to look at everybody else is changing, and you don't want to change, you don't want to look at it. Hey, I'm an Israelite. You know. But as for them whose heart, whose mind walketh after the heart of their detestable things and their abominations, I will recompense their way upon their own heads, said the Most High. See? That's judgment. That's judgment right there. Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel 34. That's payback. 
That's the punishment. Ezekiel 34, we're going to start at verse uh, 11. It says, For thus say the Most High Power, Behold, I, even I, will both search my sheep and seek them out. He's going to search us as the children of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, and search us out. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock, as a shepherd watching over his sheep, his flock, in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep. Just like a shepherd see a sheep, some of the sheep is all, most majority of the sheep is over here, and some of them scattered over there, he's going to go search out his sheep to bring them back to the sheepfold. Right? That's what the most High is saying he's going to do with us. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep. And I will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. The day of the Most High. Going to be what? A cloudy and dark day. <coughs> and I will bring them out from the people and gather them from the countries and will bring them to their own land and feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the rivers. And in all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them in a good pasture. And upon the high mountains of Israel. Shall their fold be. There shall they lie in a good fold. And in fat pastures. Shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel. So you're going to make us lies. Fat pastures. Could be worried about no food then. We have plenteousness. I will feed my flock. We the twelve tribes of Israel. And I will cause them to lie down. Said the most high power. He said. I will seek that which was lost. We the lost twelve tribes of Israel. Master Hosea said in Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said. I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of of Israel I will seek the most I said that which was lost and bring again that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick but I will destroy the fat and the strong I will feed them with judgment those that are oppressors that are fat and strong, he going to feed them with judgment. And as for you, O oh my flock, O oh twelve tribes of Israel, thus said the Most High Power, Behold, I judge between cattle and cattle, between the rams and the he goats. Seemeth it a small thing unto you to have eaten up the good pasture, but you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pastures and to have drunk of the deep waters but ye must foul the residue with your feet and as for my flock they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet and they drink that which ye have foul with your feet that's what we gotta eat we gotta read every label go to the store can we eat this? You know what he said? They're treading with their feet. Man. This is what we got to eat. Got to buy water. Disease food. They just cut it off and patch it up. Put some red dye on it. Send it to market. That's what he's saying, man. Tread down with your feet. The residue of your pastures. And to have drunk of the deep waters. But ye must foul the residue with your feet. As for my flock. They eat that which ye have trodden with your feet. That's why the most I said they foul it in the earth. Earth. Is defiled in the habits thereof. 
As for my flock, we the children of Israel, they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet. You know, stomped on our food. That's how the most I look at how nasty this is. They eat that which ye have trodden with your feet. And they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet. Stomping it. Bottle it up. Give it to them. Mm, mm, mm. Stomp on it. Put a little dye on it. Give it to them. Cut off the cancer off of it. Give it to them. Stop with their feet. Therefore, thus said the Most High Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel unto them. Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle and between the lean cattle. Because ye have trust with side and with shoulder and pushed all the disease with your horns till ye have scattered them abroad. Therefore I, therefore will I save my flock. He gonna save us and they shall no more be a prey. We ain't gonna never be no prey no more. This is the last captivity we gotta deal with and I will judge between cattle and cattle. And I will set up one shepherd over them and he shall feed them even my servant David. He shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd. And I the most high will be their power and my servant David, a prince among them, I the most high have spoken it. Look, hold that. Talking about eating. Let's go to <laughs> all praise to the most high. Revelation third chapter. And 20th verse. This is what it says. Behold, I stand at the door. This is my shepherd shy and knock. He's knocking. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him. Tell him some good food. I will come into him and will sup with him. Uh oh. You think you'll have some defiled food that's been stomped on with somebody's feet? No. He said, I'm going to sup with him and he with me. To him that overcome it, we got to overcome the wiles of the devil. In this world, all of the uh, wicked things that are presented to us to have us not follow the laws of the Most High. To him that overcometh, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Can you imagine that? To be able to sit down with a Mashiach Yawashai and eat with him? Sup with him? That's gotta be. That's gotta be. Man. Beyond imagination. He say he's gonna drink wine until he's drinking new in his, his father's kingdom. So, what kind of wine is that gonna be? Man. Let you know he drink. He drink. In moderation. Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, men of Israel, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Think on these things. Psalms 130, 130th Psalm. I mean, we going, like I said, a lot of this is, is whoa. But we got to think on the good things. But the Most High is saying that we have promised to us in the future. That's why we got to work hard to study the serial self approval to the Most High to be able to 
be there. If nothing from nothing leaves nothing. If you don't, like he said, study to show yourself approved to the most high, rightly dividing the word of truth. So if you don't study this word, like you you can it's no excuse because you can pick any video. I know I got about at least fifty six hundred videos. You can pick some videos and go through a lesson and you study it. What you going to do when they come for you? They say, hey, we banned the Bibles. Psalms 130, 7 and 8. Let Israel hope in the Most High. Or by Hashem of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Most High by Hashem of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Hope in the Most High. But with the Most High there is mercy. Not getting something you do to serve. And with him is plenteous redemption. You hear that? Plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquities. He's going to redeem us from all the things that we have done wrong in trying to follow him, which is iniquities. He's going to forgive us and redeem us from all our iniquities. But that's only one third of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's going to really... Be right here. Revelation 22 and 14. I'll be right here. Last book of the Bible. You only got a few more verses before it's over. That's that's these. Revelation 22, 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So how y'all gonna say that we ain't under the laws and commandments when you say blessed are they that do his commandments? That they may have right to the tree of life. Tree of life is everlasting life. And may enter it through the gates into the city. That's the twelve tribes of Israel. You got a gates on the, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, three gates on the east, and three gates on the west, which make up twelve tribes of Israel. And each tribe, whatever tribe you are, you're gonna be identified. You're gonna go through your gate. Most high will. Bless that day that do his commandments. You only got about what? Seven more verses before, I mean after this, the Bible's over with. Seven more verses, is over. So this is the last thing he's telling us. Blessed are they that do his commandments. How are you going to tell the people that we not under his commandments and under his laws? That they may have right to the tree of life. That's why he said, all you that break when he's least commandments and teach men so, you shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. You're not going into these pearly gates as y'all say. Listen, blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life to live, a, live forever and ever and ever everlasting life and may enter in through the gates into the city. The gates are only for the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, I must identify that so that I think I've done it already but maybe, maybe you might not have seen that particular number of the lesson that I brought out concerning these gates. Go to um, Revelations um, 21 to 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the most high, having the glory of the most high, and her light was like the was even like a jasper stone clear and crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates. You're really gonna enter into the gates, had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels. And names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Case closed. There it is right there. The Most High has not cast away his people, which he foredo. It's the last verses of the Bible. Had and the and the gates, twelve gates, and at the gates, twelve angels. 
and names written thereon. We've got 12 angels, one angel on each gate. And names written thereon. What names are written on these gates? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. As joined. On the east, three gates. As I just said. So that's three tribes going on the east gate of the 12 tribes of Israel. The names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. On the east, three gates. So on the east going to be three gates, three tribes, one tribe going to each gate, which is three tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel. The names of the 12 tribes are going to be upon the gate. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you see, and so forth of all the 12 tribes. Names. And whatever your, the name of your tribe is, most I will, if you're part of that one third, you're going to them gates. On the east three gates, or the 144,000, however it's going to be. On the north three gates, so you got three more tribes on the north. Each tribe is going, looking at up there, and they say, you go to that gate. You go to that gate, and you go to that gate. Of the 12 tribes of Israel. This the kingdom. On the south three gates, so you got three more tribes of the 12 tribes of Israel. Which will make nine so far. Whatever tribe you are, you're going through that gate. And you got an angel that's saying you're going through this gate. You come over here with me. You go through this gate, you go through that gate, and you go through that gate. That's nine. On the west three gates, each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel going into one of those gates that's of their tribe. See? So how are you going to say that we've been scattered? And we're not going to be gathered together and we done away with. Most I got rid of the 12 tribes of Israel. When it's right here. That, is this why they say you're not supposed to read Revelation? Ooh, it's, it's taboo. Ooh, it's scary. It's, got people saying you ain't supposed to read certain parts of the Bible. So this is what it says. Back to Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. See that? It shows you the gates. If you're a Gentile, you ain't going to them gates. You got to be one of the 12 tribes of Israel, as it is written. You just heard it. The names of the 12 tribes of Israel, each gate. But without, without the kingdom, without these gates, are dogs. I showed you what dogs, dogs in the New Angus Bible Dictionary says dog was used, a word that was used for the Gentiles. This is going to be a word that was used concerning the Gentiles by the Israelites. Because of their profaneness and because of homosexuality, a reference to probably a wrong reference to homosexuality. And sorcerers, without gonna be sorcerers. Remember what we read? What is these superpowers of earth? How they got these nations following their way that they would have them follow in Revelation 18 and 23? For by thy sorceries. Were all nations deceived. So how the devil deceiving everybody? By witchcraft. But what's outside the kingdom? But without our dogs and sorcerers. Those that are dealing in witchcraft and whoremongers. Those that's just running around, jumping to bed with anything and everything. And murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. You're going to be outside the kingdom. You ain't got nothing coming. Michael 4. Book of Michael. The fourth chapter. Michael, the fourth chapter. And look at verse 1. But in the last days that we're in right now, it shall come to pass, future prophecy, that the mountain of the house of the Most High, family of the Most High, shall be established in the top of the mountains. 
top of the kingdoms and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it and many nations shall come and say come and let us go up to the mountain of the most high and to the house of the power of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth of Zion Zion represents the 12 tribes of Israel in the word of the most high from Jerusalem it's going to come from we the 12 tribes of Israel and he shall judge many people he, excuse me, he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off like way over here in this western hemisphere and they shall beat their swords in the plow chairs. Hear that? They will beat their army ordinances in the plow chairs. And their spears in the puny hooks. Farm utensils. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war any more. So ain't no nation going to be fighting against each other anymore. Neither shall they learn war anymore. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree. And none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the most high of hosts, most high of armies, most high of angels has spoken it. Thus say the most high. For all people will walk every one in the name of his power. And we will walk in the name of the Most High, our power, forever and ever. In that day, said the Most High, will I assemble her that hearted. Ain't nobody more hard than us. And I will gather her that is driven out, we the twelve tribes of Israel, and her that have, and her that I have afflicted. We the twelve tribes of Israel for not following the Most High's laws. Statutes and commandments, and I will make her that hearted a remnant. That's one third of the twelve tribes. You're gonna make us that have hearted nobody deal with us a remnant. That's the one third of the twelve tribes of Israel. And her that was cast far off, a strong nation. You see, and the Most High shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth, even forever. Thus say the Most High. And thou, O Tyre of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come. Even the first dominion, the kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem, to the twelve tribes of Israel. Now why dost thou cry out aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy consul perished? Ain't nobody telling you what to do? For prangs have taken thee as a woman in travail. You hear that? And you women that had children, you just what it's talking about. You know what it's talking about. I was just talking about, hey, them contractions that you have in having that baby, they be far apart. And they get closer and closer and closer together. Say, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. But now should I go forth out of the city and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Here we are. To America. There shall thou be delivered. Because a lot of people talking about leave, flee, flee America. He said, There shall thou be delivered. There the Most High shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Hello, yeah. Let me continue. So understand it, because a lot of us can't leave. A lot of brothers can't leave. Babylon the Great. But he's telling us, just so you have some comfort in keeping the most high's laws, fearing the most high. Have 
having faith in him. He said, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion. Like a woman in travail, for now shall thou go forth out of the city. And thou shalt dwell in the field. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shall thou be delivered. There the Most High shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Now also, many nations are gathered against thee. You know? Now also, many nations are gathered against thee. Because we got next. Everything you're looking at, you can look at it however you want to look at it. But the devil, though we got a short time, comes down with much wrath. Look, look at that. Look, I haven't brought that out today. Revelation 12 and 12 and 17. Look. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And you that dwell in them, we that's living on this earth. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, see? And of the sea. Those that are on the earth and those that are out there in the sea. Why? For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Why? Because he knoweth that he have but a short time, right? So no matter how you look at it, you got to always remember this is what he's about. This is, this is his agenda. Verse 17, and the dragon, who's the devil, who's the serpent, who's the beast, who is Satan, who is the spirit of Esau, the Edomite, and the dragon was wrought with the woman, who are the twelve tribes of Israel. We read Jeremiah 6 and 2, I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely, beautiful, and delicate woman, symbolically, and went to make war with the remnant that the most I just talked about, the one-third of her seed of the twelve tribes of Israel which keep the commandments of the Most High. Is that everybody? That can't be the people that are saying we're not under the law. We're in the mercy and grace. we Gentiles grafted in. Don't even, they say, they, I'm with all the Jews killed. Mashiach. Yahweh shot. No, we're not, we not an Israelite. Ain't talking about them. You already got them. They already, they already know. They got them already. Going with them. Because they're not going to be reading the book of life, so they're going to be cast into the lake of fire with the devil and Satan and all the beasts and everything else. False prophets and all that. The dragon was walked with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That's one-third of the twelve tribes of Israel, which keep the commandments of the Most High and had a testimony of a Mashiach that was shot. That's us. That's the whole agenda. That's why I said, going back to Micah 4 and 11. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled. Let us be defiled. And let our eye look upon Zion. Remember it says, they're taking crafty counsel to take the name of Israel out of existence. While we don't know that we the Israelites, the people of this book. And I challenge anybody to prove that we're not the Hebrew Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel that we've been talking about. Since they're all going to say that we've been cast away, we've been done away with, we've been cast out. Everybody can become a spiritual Israelite, prove it. But they know not the thoughts of the Most High, you know? They don't know the thoughts of the Most High. That's why in the end, when salvation is coming to the Israelites and the remnant of those that's going to come back come out of idolatry and really take what it is that I'm bringing for seriously that they can be redeemed as he just said from the hand of all our enemies they can be saved that's Luke 1 68 the first chapter 68 to the 71st verse say we got to be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us that's your salvation that's your being saved but it says, verse 12 of Michael, the fourth chapter, but they know not the thoughts of the Most High. Neither understand they his counsel. Right? This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 7. This is what they're going to say when salvation, righteousness is coming on this earth. He's going to say, we rid ourselves in a way of wickedness and destruction. 
Yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Most High, the Mashiach Yavashai, we have not known it. That's past tense. From this point to the time that salvation, righteousness is coming on this earth. That's what they're going to say. So you're going to follow somebody that don't know the Most High? Don't know what Mashiach Yavashai, don't know these scriptures? Don't know what he's telling us? Micah 4 and 12. But they know not the thoughts of the Most High, as we just seen. That's what the way the Most High and the Mashiach of the Shai, we have not known it. That's what salvation is coming on this earth. Righteousness is coming on this earth. Neither understand they his counsel. See. For he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. Say, arise and dress, O daughter of Zion, O twelve tribes of Israel, for I will make thine horn iron. He's going to make our power iron. And I will make thy hoofs on the bottom of our feet brass. And thou shalt beat in pieces many people. There go your judgment. The Most High going to do this. And I will consecrate their gain unto the Most High. And their substance unto the Most High power of the whole earth. Thus say the Most High. Sound good to me. That's why I said, you know, go back a few chapters, Obadiah. Most I gave the Edomites, you know, 21 verses. What does it say in verse 17? It said, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. That's salvation. Powers and authority. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. We're going to own everything. It's coming. Who was talking about? Verse 1, the vision of Odiah, the prophet. Thus say the most high power concerning Edom. Because it tells you in 2 Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it, that follower. So it's telling you that we're going to own all their possessions. Look at uh, Zephaniah 3 and 1. It say, Woe, destruction. Woe me destruction to her that is filthy and polluted. Right here, over here. To the oppressing city. Talking about America. She obeyed not the voice. The voice is coming out now. She received that correction. Like I say, could be a remnant of all nations. But not necessarily you as a nation going to be in the kingdom. She obeyed not the voice. See? You hearing, you hearing what the word's saying. But she obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. Can't correct them. She trusted not in the Most High. She drew not near to her power. See? And that's two-thirds of our people. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones to the marrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. You know? Treacherous person and light, like minded in darkness, not understanding what they should understand to bring forth the people out of this gross darkness that they have put us in and the minds being polluted, the brains being polluted. Listen to what it say. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. You tell me that ain't talking about what we can relate to now when they're saying we ain't under the law. But under mercy and grace. And Gentiles, when we the Israelites, the people of the book, 
violence to the law. Man. The just most high. Hear this, brothers and sisters, is in the midst thereof. The most high is in the midst. The Mashiach of the is in the midst. He will not do iniquity. He's not going to do wickedness. He's going to always be righteous. He will not do iniquity. Every morning, hear this clearly, every morning does he bring his judgment to light. Every morning, he brings his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. The unrighteous don't know no shame. Every morning, he gets up and brings forth his judgment. He said, I have cut off the nations. Thought he loved everybody. He said, I have cut off the nations. The towers are desolate. I made their streets waste. That none passes by. Their cities are destroyed. So that there is no man. That there is none inhabited. Especially over there in Israel. Beautiful land. Ain't nothing growing there. He said he gonna do it. Say he gonna make it desolate. And in the end, he's going to cut off all these nations. He's going to destroy all these cities. He's going to have them build up our cities, our kingdom, as it is written. I said, the most I said, surely thou wilt fear me. See, a lot of y'all don't fear the most high. You ain't afraid and scared of the most high. Say, but the most I said, surely thou wilt fear me. You're going to fear him. You're going to be afraid of him. Thou will receive instruction and you're going to be told what to do. You're going to learn to stop being prideful and you're going to be told what to do. By the hand of the Most High, who are the men of the Most High, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever, I punished them. Hear that? But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. By not following the laws of the Most High. Telling people you ain't got to follow him. Rose up early. And corrupted all their doings. Most I said therefore. Wait ye upon me. Said the Most High. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. Since we've been to pray as the Israelites. The Most High going to rise up to those that have prayed on us. He said I'm going to rise up to our enemies. And those that hate us. And those that hate the Most High. And the enemies of the Most High. He said, therefore wait ye upon me. Said the Most High. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations. You hear what he's saying? His determination is to gather the nations. That I may assemble the kingdoms that we are now. And these nations that we scattered among. That I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them what? Mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. <laughs> That's why he said. Go to uh, Second Peter 3 and 10. That's why he said. See, all the earth going to be the fire with the fire of his jealousy. Second Peter's. Three and ten. But the day of the most high. <coughs> will come. As a thief of the night. You don't know when the thief's coming. That's why I don't tell nobody. Or let nobody tell you. When the day is going to be. Only the Most High know. That's why I say. But the day of the Most High will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. And the elements, the atoms, the, the neutrons, the protons shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. He come with that fire. Saying then that all these things shall be dissolved. You close your eyes and open your eyes, especially here in America, going to be dissolved. What matter of persons are ye to be in all holy convocations, conversation and righteousness, looking for 
and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. You know, my shackle was shy, wherein the heavens being on fire. The heavens talk about this earth, because where he's at ain't gonna be on fire. Talking about the earth, a galactical battle in the sky and a earthly battle on this earth. The heavens, that's why I say the heavens, being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, which dwelleth righteousness. See? Which dwelleth righteousness. What's righteousness? Which dwelleth righteousness. That's why if you're saying that we're not under the law, what is righteousness? Deuteronomy 6.25. Shows you what righteousness is. And it shall be our righteousness. Yasharala, 12 tribes of Israel. If with the condition we observe to do all these commandments before the most high our power as he have commanded us. See? That's why when you look at, uh, like I say, when I looked up the, the word for Edom, in the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, it says Edom figures promptly in the prophetic scriptures as a scene of great future judgments. And gave Isaiah 34 and 5. And back it up. But see, you want to keep stuff from us? Well, you put it in a book. So we're the ones that take the time to read all these books and look into them. To see what's being said to them, not to us, but to them. So now we look. I looked at Isaiah 34 and 5. What it says for my sword, the most high sword shall be bathed in heaven. That's right here on this earth. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. So let's look up Idumia. In the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. I do me up. Bear with me. I do me up. He said the soul going to be bathed in heaven. It shall come down upon I do me up. Let's see if we can. See. Okay, there it is right there. I do me up. Pertaining to Edom. Greek and Roman name for Edom. See? See it right there? Right there. I do. Right there. See? So, it's talking about the uh, elite of those that will be ruling the world in the last day. That's why it says in 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world. So it's saying, for my sword shall come, excuse me, my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, meaning Edom Rome, up and upon the people of my curse. Uh-oh. You don't like this. 